Let's talk about returning data from a function. So we don't always have to put something to the console at the end of our own functions. We can return a, like a number or a string. So let's try and do that. So let's get rid of this. And go ahead and if you haven't already, get rid of everything under main equals do. And we want to return something from our own function up here. So let's make that function and I'm going to call it cube. We're going to cube a number. If you're not familiar with cubing numbers, um, so let's say we had two to the third power. That's the same as saying two times two times two. So it's two times itself three times. And that would give me eight. Eight. There we go. So that's what it'll look like. Okay. So we're going to cube a number. If I had like three to the third power, that's the same as saying three times three times three, and that's 27. All right, so that's cubing a number. So let's make this function. And if we cube a number, um, we could we could say, we'll put the type signature last. So we could say if we cube something, it takes in a number. So our parameter is number or num. And it's going to, now we could say, right, put string, or it's not going to be a string, so print. We could say print num times num times num. So the number comes in, let's say it's three, and then it prints out three times three times three, which is 27. And that would be printing something to the console. But we don't have to print it to the console. We could actually just return num times num times num, which would give us an int being returned, right? So instead of putting this to the console, we can say, hey, we're actually gonna return a value. And above the type signature would be something like cube, colon, colon. And remember, the parameter goes first. We know that we have an int coming in, so we can say int. And when we used to return, when we return something to the console, when we put something on the console, at the end of our function, it was IO, right? But in this case, we're not putting something to the console. We're not printing it to the console. We're actually returning this value. And this value is going to end up being some type of integer. So it's also an int. So instead of putting something to the console, we're actually returning an int from this. Now down here in our main, uh, we can say print. And we want to use that cube function, right? So if we were to just say cube and give it a parameter, like three, like we were saying, it should return 27. And it does, but it doesn't actually print it to the console. There's no print happening anywhere here. So we would actually need to say print. And what do we want to print? We want to first take this three, give it to our cube function, and that'll return 27. So this is the number that it returns. So this ends up returning the total value of 27. So this would be replaced with this, and then it would print that 27 to the console. So that's how return values work. So let's give this a try. Let's control S to save. And let's go over to our WinGHCI. Clear it if you haven't, reload, and evaluate main. And you're gonna see it prints 27 to the console. So let's go back, and we're gonna talk about returning. We can also take this return value and give it to a variable instead of printing it. So our functional, it allows it to assign it to a variable. And what I mean by that is we could say let uh, result, because we're gonna get the result of, we're gonna get the answer from cubing something, equal cube three. So now here's what happens, and then we're gonna print the result, print result. You may be able to see this already, and that's great. Um, but if not, we take three, we give it to cube, this, is, this becomes 27, right? And then we store that value inside of our result variable. And so now result is 27, and we wanna print the result, so we print it. So this is another example of how returning a value from a function, instead of just printing it or putting it to the console, returning a value is useful, because we can then take it and give it to a variable and then print that. So control S to save. Let's head over to WinGHCI reload and run and you're going to see we still get 27 right let's do one more return example but this time we're going to return some type of string so let's make our say hi function again and it's going to take in a name parameter and so the name that's coming in is a string of some type and we want to print that or we want to return hello 
and the name. So similar to what we've done before. So we could say put string ln. We could say put string ln hello plus plus name. We've seen this before and it'll put that to the console, but we don't always have to put or print something to the console in our own functions, right? Um, so similar to what we did with the cubing a number, we can, instead of putting it to the console, we can now just return this concatenation. So hello plus plus name. So this will return this whole string. So it's gonna return a string. So our function signature would look like say hi, colon, colon, and then our parameter goes first. So name, and the name's gonna be a string. And then there's no other parameters, so let's see what we're returning. We're not putting it to the console this time, and we're returning whatever is on the right-hand side here. In this case, it's a string. So we can say string. So it gets a string, and it also returns a string. So down here, in a similar fashion to what we did with cubed, we can now do put string ln, right? Because if we just say, say hi, and give it a name like Austin, if we say, say hi, Austin, um, it's never gonna print anything. There's nothing to print here, right? So we could do put string ln, say hi, Austin, like this. And now it, we're feeding Austin to the say hi function, and that's gonna return the result of hello, Austin, and then we're feeding that to this put function, put string ln function, and that will print it or put it to the console. So let's try that. Here we are, control S to save, head over to our WinGHCI, clear it, reload, and evaluate. And you're gonna see it prints hello Austin to the console, right? Now in the same way we did the cubed function, we can assign this to a variable. So let's get rid of put string ln, and we're gonna write let, uh, we're gonna say result, because it's still a result, it's a string value. There's probably a better name for that. Let saying hi, that's better I guess, equal say hi. So saying hi is our variable, and we're assigning to that variable whatever the result of this is. So we're calling our say hi function with my name in it. So in goes my name, we call this function here, right? Because we declared it up here, calling it here with this name, and it returns hello Austin. So this becomes hello Austin, and then it feeds it, it gives it to this variable saying hi, and then we can put saying hi to the console because hello Austin is now stored in the saying hi variable. So now we could say, excuse me, put string ln saying hi. So control S to save. Head over to our WinGHCI, clear it, reload, and run. And it still puts hello Austin to the console.